Hey, Shelley. Well, since we were last here yesterday, there are now candles where this statue used to stand, and there's even a card that reads peace and healing for all people. Now, earlier today, when I spoke to the, ga the governor of the Yakima Pueblo, he tells me that he was invited here to speak on Monday night, but he chose not to come because of the pandemic and stay at home orders. But he says he agrees that the statue needed to come down. And it was troublesome for me, uh, and, and it's troublesome for many. Like our other indigenous tribes and pueblos. There is this history that exists um, in, in, in New Mexico and in this country. The Pueblo Vacama lives with a painful history. Our present day cultures and communities are rooted in that. That doesn't go away. Some of that pain comes from the atrocities committed by the Spanish conquistador Juan de Oñate, who sought to colonize the Pueblo, killing dozens of Acoma people. Governor Vallo says their sacred land was tarnished by the actions of Oñate. To take those away from us, and in the process of doing that, for the sake of claiming land, that there would be a tremendous loss of people, that there would be a tremendous show of aggression and hate for the sake of conquest. Actions that left a lasting impact. My own Acoma people have had to endure so much to be able to still be here today. While Governor Vial says this is a step forward, there's still a lot more work that needs to be done. It's a continuous struggle as we in this time, see what is playing out in terms of racism, inequality, the many issues of the unjust social justice that exists in this country. Now, something interesting that a lot of people don't know about is there is a landscape close by that represents different flowers and different stones from different pueblos around the state, which the governor of Acoma says that never really sat well with them, being that at the center of it all was that statue. Reporting live in Albuquerque, Marissa Armas, KOAT Action 7 News. The governor also told us they're still facing extreme loss because of the pandemic.